Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about set and map. Okay, so the set object lets us store unique values of any type. They can be primitive values or they can be object references. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to create an array. Okay, we'll call this my array and let's set it to just some random numbers. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll create a set from this array. Actually, instead of var, let's use let. So we'll say let my set and we'll set it to new set and then pass in my array. Now we can call different methods on this set now. So um, before we do that, let's just console log it. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now let's say we want to add to the set. We'll say my set dot add and let's add 100. Okay, if we go and reload, you can see that we now added 100. And I added it as a string, which is actually good because you can see that it can store different types of values. It doesn't have to be all numbers, all right, which is really nice. Uh, if we wanted to, let's say my set, we'll say my set dot add, and let's put in an object. Okay, we'll say a one b two. Take a look, and let's see. Look at it this way, and you can see that fifth one here is an object with a one and b two. We can also delete stuff. So if we say my set uh, my set dot delete. And let's say we want to delete the 22. Save that, reload, and now you can see that the 22 is gone. We could also clear it all out. So my set dot clear. Save that, reload, and now it's empty. Okay, if we wanted to add something again, we could of course do that. Now, if we want to, let's say, see the size of the set, we could say console.log my set dot size. And that gives us a one. Okay, if we add something else here, reload, and now we get two. Okay, it's giving us the size after the clear. If I get rid of the clear, and we reload, we get six. Now, another thing we could do is we can actually loop through our set. So let's say my set, and we can do a dot for each. Okay, and in here, we're going to put a function. And let's put val. And then down here, we'll say console.log val reload. And now you can see it's looping through each element in the set and spitting it out in the console. Now we can also use what's called a map. And let me just console, let me just uh, comment this stuff out. Okay, now with a map, a map is, uh, is their key value pairs as opposed to sets which are individual values. So let's create a variable called my map and we'll set it to new map. And in here we're going to have a set of brackets and then in those brackets we want another set of brackets with a key value pair. So let's say a1 and Actually, we don't want that. We want a comma. We'll set that to um, hello. OK, 
Okay, put a comma here, so open up another set of brackets. We'll say B2, comma, goodbye. All right, so now we have a map. And if we go and say console.log and pass in my map, reload, you can see we have our map here. Okay, we can add things to it. We don't have uh, mymap.add, but we have .set. And what we can do is pass in, uh, we'll say C3. And we'll just say foo. Okay, reload. And now you can see that that's been added to the map. We can also delete stuff. We'll say mymap.delete. And we want to delete, let's say, A1. Okay, you want to delete by the key. Reload, and now you can see that A1's gone. We can also use dot size to see how big the map is, which is 2. Now, in addition to set and map, we have weak set and weak map. And these have to do with objects. All right, so let's go ahead and comment that stuff out. And then I'm going to create a variable here. Uh, let's call it name weak set and we'll say new weak set all right and then let's do let name one actually you know what let's not do name that doesn't really make sense let's do car car weak set and then we'll say let car one and this will have a make Okay, so we'll have a make of Honda. Okay, let me just, why is this uh, commented out? Fix that. Okay, so make Honda, and then we'll say model will be Civic. All right, and then we'll take that car week set, and we'll say, um, Actually, let's just console log that. Okay, so weak set. Now it says it's empty because we just created the object here. We need to actually add it. So we'll say weak set or car weak set. dot add and then pass in car one all right so now that's been added to the weak set if we want to take another one we can copy that call this one car two and we'll set it to toyota camry and then we just want to add two reload and now you can see that the Camry's been added. We can also do deletes. So if I want to say car weak set dot delete, and we want to put in here car one, reload, and now you can see that only the Toyota is left because we deleted car one. So same on the same way we do the weak set we can do a weak map so down here we're gonna say let car weak map equals new weak map all right and then let's do let key one okay these are gonna be objects it's gonna have an ID of one and then let's copy this car one up here Okay, we'll put that here and then let's do car week map dot set and in here we want to pass in the key or the key object and also the car. Reload. Okay, we're not getting anything because we didn't console log.
and there we go. Okay, so we're doing the same thing only with key value pairs. If we wanted to add another, we could call this one two Toyota Camry, and then let's do uh, copy that and we'll set key two and car two. Okay, we'll reload. Car one has already been defined. I have to change that to car two. All right, and we can also do deletes. Car week map dot delete, and we can just pass in uh, the key. We'll say key one, and there we go. All right, so that's how we can use set map, week map, and week set. In the next video, I'm going to show you how we can use set and map, and we can use them along with iterators.